I'm about to put another box on top of this container because the second one I put up here caught a swarm. And I actually noticed it with its lid off, blown off by the wind, and they were coming in through the top. So that's why now there's a bunch of them at the top trying to get in. They don't know where their entrance is. But somehow, we ended up with another swarm in here. Which is good, obviously. Okay, here's our latest setup. I put another one up there. The first two already caught swarms, so I put another one. Let's see, maybe we'll catch a third one. Right now we got three hives going. One is the mini. This is, by the way, from the last harvest. Bees are still cleaning it off. It's almost done. So we have the one that most likely continuously produces swarms for us, which is this one. Although I think the one that we've caught now on the container is a wild swarm. I am not sure. Just because of the timing, I don't think that one would have swarmed just yet. But we're lucky to have all these now. Here, the one that was, uh, that just got a swarm, the second one. When I found it, the lid was off on the ground, blown off, and they were coming in through the top. So I'm wondering how long it's been like that. I haven't checked on it for a few days because I was working on my other project back there. Busy building enclosure for cow, goats, pigs. These guys here. But it's looking good. Looks like we got at least three families going now. Beautiful. One more view from up top here. Ah. Okay. Good to stay up here instead of go down the quick way. But this is the first one. Quite a bit of traffic even on this cold, cloudy day. And there's our second one. That just moved in from somewhere. Beautiful. And that's our last swarm trap. Hopefully we'll catch something. I just had to put a cinder block even on top of that one. I can already see bees visiting that one actually. We'll see how quickly it'll take for some swarm to find that one. For some reason they favor this container setup. I'm gonna keep going with it as long as I got interest in it. Why not, right? See ya. So a couple days after I've set this third swarm trap up here, swarm trap up here, I got up here and it looks like there is a third swarm that we've caught. They really love this container. Very interesting. Loving it. What a pretty sight on top of the containers. All three of these hives are full now. Yes, I intend to leave them right there where they are. So yeah, they were swarm catchers. They caught swarms, but that's also their permanent home. This is what the bees pick. That's what they like. I'm not gonna take it and put it anywhere. Leave it right there. So it's gonna be a little bit challenging to get up there, but I do have a bobcat which can hold a pallet, which can bring things up and down if I need to take the, or when I need to take the supers down. So it will be okay. I'm not going to move them an inch. That's where they're staying. Okay, up on the can can container we go. Let's see what it looks like from here. Okay, so these are the, the two new ones that I've set up. Swarm catchers, one and two. Over there and over there. Hopefully they'll catch something. And these guys, oh wow, look at this. I don't know if you can see it. But look how they cleaned out this hive. They are definitely doing some housekeeping. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. So that's the last swarm that we caught. And these are the other two. Let's see what they look like. I don't like walking in the center of this container because the roof collapses in and out. It's a metal sheet of metal and then it disturbs the bees too much. That's why I walk on the edges. Second one's doing great. Look at that. And first one I'll probably be opening up today and seeing if they need a super already or not. They're looking great as well. 